The new domestically designed satellite carrier, named Zilgena, has been launched in a research program that employs Iran's most powerful engine consuming solid fuel. Zilgena can carry a satellite weighing 220 kilograms into an orbit 500 kilometers above the Earth. According to Hosseini Iran, has now three operational satellite carriers, namely Zilgena, Sarer, and Sarish. Sarah is capable of carrying a payload of one ton into a height of 1,000 kilometers and is going to replace Simurgh. Hosseini highlighted the successful test of the satellite carrier and noted, one of the most important achievements of this space experiment is gaining the most powerful solid fuel engine. This satellite carrier, after tests and technology stabilization, will be ready to put operational satellites into orbit, and its main feature is to reduce the costs," he explained. Iran has one of the advanced satellites programs in West Asia, however, the Western countries see Iran's missiles as a conventional military threat to regional stability. Due to the rising tensions between Iran and the U.S. in recent years, the former U.S. administration have imposed sanctions on Iran's defense and space industry. Although the sanctions have created some economic difficulties, however, they couldn't stop Iran's determination to strengthen its defense and space industries. Regarding the importance of defense and space program for Iran's national security, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has emphasized that Tehran would not be deceived by the United States' offer of negotiations and would not give up its missile and space program. The Zoljana satellite carrier is an example of Iranian youth's effort which proved the scientific power of the country, Hatami said on the sidelines of Indian Ocean Defense Minister's summit. Iranian youths proved that they do not spare any effort to acquire knowledge and technology and they have always been pioneers in achieving success," he added. The minister went on to say that the achievement of advanced defense technologies in the ground, air, naval, and defense, electronics and satellite launchers is a clear example of spectacular progress in different domains. Last week, a defense ministry spokesman Ahmed Hosseini said that Iran has launched new satellite carrier Zoljana which uses the most powerful solid fuel engine, and noted that the vehicle uses solid in the first and second phases, and liquid fuel in the third phase. The new satellite launch vehicle is based on the most powerful solid fuel engine technology attained by the country's specialists for the first time, Ahmed Hosseini said on Monday in a televised program, adding that the new domestically designed and manufactured satellite carrier is capable of putting satellites into an orbit of 500 kilometers above the ground. For the first time in the field of space science, the first test launch of Zoljana satellite carrier has been carried out after achieving the most powerful solid fuel engine technology with the goal of conducting suborbital test, Hosseini went on to say. The three-phase satellite carrier, which is comparable with the most state-of-the-art ones in the world in technical aspects, enjoys two solid thrust phases and one liquid thrust phase, he added. The spokesman also said that the launch carrier is capable of carrying a satellite weighing 220 kilograms to an orbit of 500 kilometers above the ground. Hosseini said one of the most important achievements of this test is making operational the country's most powerful solid fuel engine enjoying a 750-ton thrust.
The satellite carrier will be ready to put operational satellites into orbit after the completion of research tests, he noted, adding that reducing costs and increasing the speed of achieving goals are among its main features. Zuljana is a three-stage rocket with two solid propulsion stages and one liquid one, and can be launched from a mobile platform, which provides special capabilities, Hassani said, according to the report. He said that the rocket can send a satellite of up to 1,100 pounds, 220 kilograms, to a 310-mile, 500-kilometer, orbit. For comparison, the International Space Station orbits at an altitude of roughly at 250 miles, 400 kilometers. State television showed the rocket being launched in a desert area, according to the AFP, but did not disclose the location or time of the test. The launch was reportedly done in Semnan province, which is where the government's space center is located, the report added. The test was performed almost one year after Iran reportedly sent its first military satellite into orbit in April 2020, aboard a two-stage Qasid rocket that lifted off from the Markazi Desert in central Iran. U.S. tracking data available at that time confirmed that the spacecraft safely reached orbit. The test was the first launch of the Zuljana hybrid satellite carrier for suborbital testing, said Ahmed Hassani, the spokesman for the ministry's space division. This three-stage carrier can compete with the world's current carriers and has two stages of solid propulsion and a single liquid one, he added, noting that the rocket was for research purposes. He also said the rocket can be launched from a mobile platform, which provides it with special capabilities. Footage released by the broadcaster showed the rocket being launched in a desert area, without specifying the place and time of the test. According to Mara News Agency, the launch took place at the central Semnan province, where Iran has a space center. Iran's Revolutionary Guards launched the country's first military satellite, dubbed the Nauer, into orbit in April last year, coming after the failed launch of another satellite two months before. The Guards said the satellite orbited the Earth at 425 kilometers and was carried using the cast rocket, using a liquid and solid propulsion similar to Zuljana. The Islamic Republic's archenemy the United States at the time said the launch proved that Iran's space program was for military rather than commercial purposes. Iran maintains it has no intention of acquiring nuclear weapons and says its aerospace activities are peaceful and comply with the United Nations Security Council resolution.